In this episode, we're going to look at all the sources of rattles in the M278. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you like this kind of content with my own cars, this 2011 Mercedes CL500, a gorgeous 2013 Maserati Gran Turismo, and a cute little MG Midget from 1970, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So I purchased this gorgeous uh, 2011 CL500 about uh, nearly a year ago. Uh, it's done just over 90,000 miles. It's a fantastic car, amazing quality. And this engine is the M278. So just a bit of history, the initial CL500s uh, back in the early 2000s had a five liter naturally aspirated V8. In the second series, the C216, uh, they changed that initially to a 5.5 litre naturally aspirated V8, uh, but in the facelift, which this one is, um, they changed it for a brand new engine, smaller displacement, 4.7 litres, but with uh, twin turbochargers, more power, more torque, um, better all round really, and eminently tunable. Um, so this engine is a fantastic power plant, but it does suffer from a number of little irritations, uh, rattles that can drive anybody who's sensitive to it, like me, absolutely crazy. So in this video, we're just gonna go through the four main causes of these rattles. And uh, I'll explain each one and basically the order in which you should you know, check them out and see if you can get them fixed. So this cruddy bit of plastic here is the first thing you need to check if you've got rattles from your M278. I'll just start it up and you can see what I mean. So I've actually taken this piece off once already, but before I did so, and I've probably moved it just a little bit, but this thing, that cruddy little bit of plastic was rattling so badly that I thought the ABC pump was failing. I've actually just moved it a little bit, taken it off and moved it. Um, and it's not doing it so much now. It literally just pushes in here. It's the nastiest, cheapest little part you can imagine. All it does is it covers up this end plate here. It's just cosmetic, really. Such a cheap and nasty bit of plastic that Mercedes actually had to put out a technical service bulletin for this $2 piece of plastic to say, oh, if you're getting rattles from your ABC pump, take this cover off. So I did that and the rattling stops. So I have ordered a new one from overseas, but really it, it doesn't matter. It's just a cover. So the first thing to check if you've got rattles in your M278 engine is this nasty piece of $2 plastic. So once you've eliminated the, the cheap option, which is getting rid of that stupid plastic cap there, then there are two other main causes of, actually three other main causes of rattles in the M278 engine. The next one, obviously, we're gonna talk about is very dear to my heart, and that is the rattle from the turbo wastegate. Um, check out my videos up here on what happened there. So what happens on these, this, this um, engine has uh, two turbos, one each side, one for each bank of cylinders. Um, it has a wastegate um, control on the top, which uh, has a bearing that goes through the body of the turbo. That bearing wears and the turbo wastegate starts to rattle and rattle it does um, a lot at startup and also at idle sometimes. Uh, it's very annoying. Uh, and so what I've done on this car is actually I just replaced both turbos. And in fact, whilst it has improved the rattle considerably, it's not completely gone. There is, even with the brand new turbos from Garrett, there was, uh, slight movement in those bearings and that is obviously to allow for expansion. If those uh, bearings were tight when they were cold 
uh, they would seize up when they expanded in the heat. And obviously, it's a, the, one of the hottest parts of the engine. The turbos are completely fixed onto the exhaust uh, manifold. So, yeah, huge amount of heat variation cycling up and down. Has to have that bit of uh, play in the bearing or else it would seize up. The third issue you can get on M278 engines is the timing chain tensioners. Again, I had this done on this car when I first got it because it was an outstanding uh, thing that hadn't been done. It wasn't a recall, but it is a technical service bulletin. And I was getting those rattles, so I thought I would see if I could, if that would fix it. Um, what happens is they, they replace uh, some of the guides and tensioners behind the timing chain cover. And um, it also introduces some oil check valves into the uh, the tensioners which stops the uh, the oil pressure draining out and uh, then allowing that um, tensioner to rattle. So that's been done. I don't think this car was actually suffering from that issue too much. Um, again, check out my videos up here on the timing chain replacement issue. Um, so yeah, that's the next, that's the kind of the third thing that can cause rattles on these engines. The fourth and final thing that can cause rattles, I'm uh, led to believe, is the uh, valve timing, um, the variators on the valve timing. So in each of these valve banks, there are two variators, one on each camshaft. Obviously, you've got one for the exhaust valve and one for the um, inlet valve, both sides. Those variators are oil driven. They um, have a valve which opens and closes so that the uh, it advances or retards the, the camshaft, uh, depending on oh, all sorts of factors. That also can um, wear and cause rattle. And if you're OCD like me and rattles bother you, then beware of this particular engine. So thanks very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the M278 is a great engine. It's a fantastic engine, but it does have some little weaknesses that if you're bothered by rattles, which I am, they can drive you a bit nuts. And I've, I've spent quite a bit of money uh, fixing the turbos, uh, fixing the timing chain uh, tensioners. Fortunately, the valve um, variators are, are okay. Uh, that stupid bit of plastic down there, I'm getting rid of that. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with, with the way this engine is performing now um, and uh, absolutely love this car. So don't be put off by this video. It's just a little bit of information if, you, if you're really bothered by um, rattles and stuff and you want to get rid of them, then this is what you should do. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber and hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram down here and uh, do drop a comment down below. Uh, it's great to hear your feedback on these videos. Let me know what you think of the engine and uh, all these things that I've done to it. All right, until the next one, thanks a lot. See you soon, bye.